Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to get the UCS platform emulator up and running. This is a great tool if you're studying for the CCMP or CCIE in Data Center, or if you want to mess around with some automation topics uh, that the DevNet has you get into. It is a free tool, so all you need to do is Google for it, UCSP download, and then we just go to the community page where we can just click the download link. You do need a Cisco CCO to log in, but I believe this download isn't restricted at all, so you can download it if you have any kind of access. And there, we just hit the download button. By the way, if you are studying for the CCIE, it's a good idea not to download the latest version, but to do the version that's called for in the actual CCIE data center blueprints. What I'll do is just pause the video while we're downloading and we'll have a look when we're ready to install it. Okay, that's downloaded, so we can just open up the OVA. I'm just going to call this UCSPE31. So what I'll do is I'm just going to organize this and drag this under my UCS folder. But the actual VM itself is very small. We can see that it is one gig and one CPU. And by default, it's just going to use the NAT adapter to get online. If you want to have it on a particular adapter, just go ahead and change your networking as you want it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this on my LAN. And I'm just going to put each of them on the same network for the time being. So we power this up. It's going to go ahead and do the install there. So what I'm going to do is just pause until there's something interesting to look at. Now that's ready. We can go ahead and log in with the UCSP as a username and password. Most well, of what we can do in here is edit our network settings. So I'm just going to press N to put in a, to change the IP address. And we're just going to say yes here and tell it custom. So we need a VIP IP and then one for each of the fabric interconnects. So I'm just going to say that it is going to be 1030.10.170, which is a slash 24. And then we're going to do 171 and 172. My gateway is 1030.10.1. And we just need to wait for it to come back to us. And now that's changed, we can SSH into it. A couple other options here. We can do things like restart services and factory reset the box if we want to wipe out our labs. There's also a CLI shell, which mimics the actual command line for UCS. And if we hop in here, we can do most of the stuff you would expect to be able to do, except for since there is no fabric interconnects, uh, if you try and do certain tasks, it's gonna fail like this, but you can poke around the command line and mess around with the syntax. But beyond that, most of what we're going to do is access it for the web interface. Okay, so this is the web interface of the UCSP. On the right-hand side is what you would traditionally see when you log on to UCS Manager. You have a link to open up the Manager section and the KVM section. And on the right or left-hand side, you can see an equipment list. This lets you customize the topology there. So by default, the platform emulator is going to build a topology that has quite a few rack servers and fabric extenders and chassis and uh, blade servers and all the bells and whistles. If you want to see what that looks like, we can just open that in a tab here. And we can see it has a nice fancy topology for us to play with. Though, if you wanted to customize this, though if you wanted to customize this for a particular lab, what you want to do is first of all wipe out all this stuff, and you can do that just by hitting the red button to disconnect everything. 
So you can see that it has turned everything except the fabric interconnects from green to red. And now what we can do is when the system is ready for us, we can start removing devices just by hitting the delete device button. And we just clear out pretty much everything we don't want here. All right, so that's cleared out. So the fabric interconnects are always gonna be there because that is where your UCS manager lives. But if I wanted to add a chassis, for example, I can just click the plus button, give it a name, let's just call it chassis01 because I'm very creative. And you can pick what chassis you're interested in. I'm just gonna pick the 6508 and go add. And then what I can do is I can edit this device. And then from here, I can start telling it what is actually in the device. So I can go ahead and pick template if I don't want to build everything. And I can just pick, say, the B200M4 medium server, and it's going to give me a blade server with two processors, eight sticks of RAM, two hard drives, and one uh, VIC network card. Sounds good to me, so I'm just going to copy this in or drag this in and then we'll do the same thing again and that should do it for now so what we can see is we have two servers that are pre-built for us but we haven't built the other components we need so we need to go to say PSU and we can add in some power supplies you can do just 1-4 if you want to add four of them for the maximum and then for fans I'm a real fan of fans, so I'm going to do eight of them. And then we're going to need an IOM so that the uh, chassis can connect to the fabric interconnect. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the 2304. So by the way, uh, you do have to be somewhat aware of model numbers as you're doing it there. For example, the uh, IOM I picked, if I try and connect this to the fabric interconnects, it's going to let me know that this particular model isn't supported on that particular fabric interconnect. So what I can do is just remove these guys and then go back to ION and this time I'm just going to pick the 2204 and I'll do two of them. So now if I click connect all links it's just going to auto assign the links for me there. If I want to be particular, I can go ahead and change them. So I can just edit the port, and do FI, peer device I want to do, and then just tell it which port I actually care about. Uh, that was. It doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to pick 21. So at this point, I can go ahead and connect the chassis. And if I click here, we can see we have all green lights. Now, if I go back over to our window here and I refresh it, we can see that it has my chassis. And if I look at the servers here, we have the two servers that's trying to work through discovery. Again, I'm not going to get too much into the actual configuration yet, but uh, this is just laying the groundwork. But beyond that, this is a great tool. This provides basically complete functionality of the UCS manager. You can basically do everything you want here. You can set up your templates and uh, get your servers configured the way you want to. You can see how the system would react to things. Um, of course, the servers don't actually exist, so you can't do things like uh, KVM to the server. And, but it's great for study. You can even use this to connect to uh, your vCenter and your LDAP if you want to uh, bring in more resources. The only real limitation there is because there is no actual fabric interconnect there, you can't uh, do things like uh, get onto the Nexus command line and that kind of stuff, obviously. But as far as like a CCIE study tool for data center goes, this is fantastic. And this is also great for uh, scripting against when we talk about DevNet topics. All right, with that, I'll leave the video here and we'll see you next time.